This is Goku Sun DBC, and today is the second of, of course, Music Theme Month. Now, as of this Sunday, I am ending top 12 lists. This is going to go back to being top 10s. Since response on my top 12s haven't been that good and seem to be getting less views, I'm going back to top 10s. Even though I like top 12 because it was a little more original, number wise. But here is top 10 Sunday. And today I will be counting down the top 10 songs from the alternative hard rock band Red. So this is the top 10 Red songs. Coming in at number 10 from their uh, last studio album is called Imposter. Really good song from the uh, band Red. Um, if somebody asked me like style wise, what would, I, what would Red's be sound like? Vocally reminds you of Linkin Park and music has both like sort of a cross feel between at least earlier work had like a feel between Evanescence meets uh, Breaking Benjamin is the best way I know how but but yeah number 10 is Imposter really good song from the band amazing group if you've never checked out Red and if you're a fan of like alternative and of course hard rock I highly recommend you check out the band and check out these songs Coming in at number 9 is off their second studio album. Um, the song is called Death of Me. Really good song. And basically it's just the front man uh, shows like him divide into like two people. Um, which actually that one sort of element in some ways kind of Papa Roach would actually end up copying later on off of their fourth studio album with their video lifeline. But anyways, um, Death of Me, really good hard rock song. Well done, and as always, the vocals are done perfectly. That's the thing, uh, this guy is incredible. He has, can do such great vocals with soft songs more atmospheric type feel and he also has an incredible like voice for the hard pounding moments in the harder songs he does which is sort of on the edge between hard rock and metal sounding vocals but he has a decent range which you don't always see with a lot of hard rock vocalists but he has a good range and his voice is really good. As I said, reminds me a lot of the vo lead vocalist of Linkin Park. Coming in number eight is from their fourth studio album. Imposter was from their fifth studio album. Uh, this is from their fourth studio album, and it's the uh, signature song, also named after the name of the album. And of course, uh, the name of the song is Release the Panic. Now, of their albums, Release the Panic is probably one of their less popular among the hardcore fan base. Because that album doesn't have quite the traditional red feel, though. They go more back to that in their fifth album. But uh, Release the Panic, though... Hands Down is the best song off the album, and is really the main song off that album that does have the traditional feel that Red has to their style. And they're a really good band. They've been around 11 years now, I believe. 11 or 12 years around that. But, incredible band. Coming in at number 7 is uh, off their very first album. Uh... And it was their first single off their first album, and that is Breathe Into Me, which is what set the stage for their signature style and their excellent music overall. 
it has a certain eeriness feel besides being hard hitting on the lead vocals. It's just a well rounded song overall. Good quality production value to the music, and that's always a good thing. But it's just a really good, well executed hard rock song. Coming in at number six is off their third studio album called Faceless. And uh, this is the song called Feed the Machine which was the first single off the album, of course. And it's a harder hitting song, which has a lot of similarity sound-wise to actually release The Panic. So it's another really good harder song done by the band, and it does have the more traditional feel that you predominantly mainly have from the first to third album, but then the fifth album goes more back to that feel, with a little more atmospheric, elements and eeriness factor that reminds you more of their first studio album. Um, but another well executed, well done overall song. And the lyric writing, as one thing I have nothing but positive things to say about Red, they're very good storytellers with their lyric writing. They have some of the better and more meaningful well written songs than you see with a lot of bands. One, the other more alternative, like say metal type uh, bands that I really like, that puts time and effort into the lyric writing, is of course one I've already done in the past of top list for, and that being of course uh, Demon Hunter. And yes, by the way, of course as you know, Demon Hunter is a Christian metal band. Red is a Christian hard rock band. But you don't get that. Just like with uh, Demon Hunter, Though I will say, uh, lyrically speaking, Red's music is less religious, has a lot less religious tones to the music uh, than Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is a little bit stronger. Red chooses and stuff to use more of a, uh, a reference type writing style and multiple meanings to their songs. And it's one thing I like about them, that they're more well-rounded than a lot of other uh, hard rock bands out there. And that's one of the reasons I have the utmost respect for Red, is that they put a lot of time and effort into their music. And I wish more bands would learn a few things from bands like Red and show their passion. Not just about making money like, say, uh, crappy Nickelback. Anyways, sorry. Coming in at number five is also off is off of their first album and it's a really good overall song it's one of definitely their softest songs um, it's called pieces it has a very much eerie uh, feel to it and but it allows the lead vocalist vocals to shine in this song when most of the songs off their first album are predominantly overall hard hitting. There's really only maybe two soft songs overall on the album and this being one of them which is by far the best. At least of their softer songs I think off of all their albums for me personally Pieces is my favorite of their softer songs. Uh, coming at number four is actually a song that comes on the album right before Pieces. Um, it starts out softer, like Pieces, but then towards the middle it starts getting harder. Uh, but still, an uh, overall well done song. And uh, coming in number four is their uh, single Lost, which is, of course, as I said, another well done, well rounded song. Uh, coming in at number three is off of their, the second single off their third album called Faceless. Um, it's just a really good, more traditional style, uh, and it's not really hard, it's just more of an alternative, I'd say, rock song. It's not a harder song like some of their others. It's more middle ground, I guess you could say. But it's another well, well done song. And I have nothing but positive things to say. Oh, and of course, uh, by the way, this list is not based on multiple people's opinions like 
most of the time I do. This is strictly based on my own personal opinions for top red songs. Coming in at number two is off their second album. Hands down, at least for me personally, it, I think is their best song off of their second studio album. And it really allows them to shine. The lyric writing is very deep. And it's one thing I like about this band is the lyrics make you think. And besides have good hard rock style to it, it's very heavily alternative because they love to add a lot of different feeling to their albums. They want to make you not only enjoy the lyrics, uh, they want to tell a good story, they also want to make you think about things. And that's one of the best things about this band, that it actually, sometimes after you listen to music, you'll actually stop and think about things. Like, you know, reflect on things in your own life and stuff. And that's one of the coolest things about this band. It's one of the only rock bands or artists in general I've found that really does. Has made me think about things from other perspectives. And it's actually really interesting because you don't get that from a lot of music. I mean, you do get it a little, probably a little more from rock and metal than any other genres, to be fair. Uh, honorable mentions before number one. Um, a great cover song called Ordinary World, off their second album. Uh, of These Chains, which is off their last album, which was their fifth studio album. Um, Already Over Part Two, which is a good soft song off their first album. Uh, Gravity Lies off of their fifth album, and Let Go, off of their first album, which is another good song. Coming in at number one, as I mentioned, honorable mentions, Already Over Part 2. Well, coming in at number one, Already Over, which was their second single off their uh, debut album, which was incredible song. So atmospheric, and yeah, I know I've already used this quite a few times in the video, I'm not even sure how many times I've used that term, but it's a really well performed and executed song, and this should be like a prototype, this is the song that really does ha lean to have a little bit more of an evanescence feel in the background music. And the music video is also pretty cool, so if you get a chance to check out some of their music videos here on YouTube. And I highly recommend, first song you check out, check out Already Over. Also check out some of these other songs I mentioned on the list, please. If you like checking out new types of music that's not quite your traditional style, and you like some with a lot of different elements combined into one, this is the band for you to check out. And you may want to bash because it's Christian. Now, just so you know, I'm personally not Christian. I'm not. But I respect these bands. Even though I may not agree with them religiously speaking, I respect them for their passion and their talent. That's more important than anything else. And as I said, Red isn't have a really heavy uh, religious overtones in their music. You hear that a little more in in uh, Demon Hunter's lyric writing, if you actually pay attention and listen to the lyrics, not just jamming out to the good guitar and drum work. You need to listen and look at the overall picture. And their music is just so well done and good quality I can't think of too many other bands out there that could rival Red's quality. I can't. By far one of the most underrated rock bands out there today. Um, anyways, this is, was Top 10 Red Songs. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for Top 10 Sunday next week, which will be Top 10 Megadeth Songs. So stay tuned for that. And... Here's my song pick of this week. Uh, this week, instead, I choose a crossover pop slash R&B song. 
uh, from actually a pretty well-known mainstream artist, Rihanna. And her song called Russian Roulette. Pretty good song, and I really, it was one of the few songs I've really enjoyed from. Rihanna. Actually, I'll be honest, I love Rihanna music. Don't always agree with everything. And I don't like her newer style now. But yeah, I like, I like some of her music. Anyways, I'll get off for now. But follow me at twitter.com slash gokusundbc as well as on googleplus.com slash gokusundbc. Stay tuned for a couple of comic book reviews I'm working on, which are three right now. So stay tuned for that and a future manga review of Star Wars Return of the Jedi Volume 4. And uh, leave me a comment below. Tell me, have you listened to Red? If you have, what's your favorite Red songs? And also please uh, subscribe, share my videos if you like any of them, and send me feedback. I like to get different uh, people's opinions on things to help me try to grow my channel. And quickly a review in exact order, the comic book reviews I'll be reviewing before I get off. The very next one I'll be reviewing will be issue number three, review for Descender. Then number two, comic book review that I'll be doing is going to be Spawn. 257, awesome look, and issue number one of the special crossover, Batman Ninja Turtles. And here's a special Street Fighter comic review that'll be coming your way soon. Street Fighter V, The Life and Death of Charles Nash. So stay tuned for this special Street Fighter comic book review coming soon. And until next time, I'll see you out again here on YouTube land. Just remember, same YouTube time, same YouTube channel. See you next time.